Hey there, and welcome back to another episode on the At Home Dive YouTube channel. As always, my name is Joey, and today we're in the kitchen making something delicious. We're going to make a variation of a classic ratatouille. So hit that subscribe button, and let's get to the video. So to get started on the counter today, we have a pretty simple list of ingredients. We have one small medium eggplant diced up here in about one inch pieces. We have one tablespoon of kosher salt. We have two tomatoes here that are just cut into eighths. One medium onion and three cloves of garlic that are sliced thinly as you can see. We also have one medium zucchini, one medium summer squash, and we also have one and a half teaspoons of celery salt. This part is optional and not traditional, but I think it's a nice touch. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by taking the eggplant and the kosher salt and just literally tossing them around and getting the eggplant well coated with the salt. And then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is the tomatoes. All right, so to prepare our tomatoes, we're simply gonna take them and dump them into our blender on the pulse function here on low. So it's gonna act just like a food processor. We're going to bump it a few times to chunk up the tomatoes. Now that those are nice and chunky but not liquid, we're just going to set them aside. Now we're going to actually start cooking. We're going to add a few tablespoons of olive oil in here over medium low heat and add the onions and garlic before the pan gets hot. We want to sweat them down and kind of get the flavors going in there. As soon as these come up and start becoming translucent, we'll come right back. Now that the onions and garlic are starting to become translucent in there, as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and add in half of one diced green bell pepper that I totally forgot to mention earlier. And we're gonna give it a quick stir. We're gonna give it just a, a couple of more minutes over the medium low heat, and then we'll add in some of the other ingredients. Once the bell pepper starts to soften up, it's time to add in the tomato. We're gonna go ahead and add this in, and this is gonna be all the liquid that we need for our ratatouille. Now that our liquid's in, I'm just going to cover this and let it simmer on medium-low for another 10 minutes. Now the eggplant's had time to cure in the salt and get a lot of the extra water out of it. We're going to go ahead and add it to the mixture here, stir it in, and let it stew together with the tomatoes, peppers, onions, and garlic. We're going to come back and check on this in about another 10 minutes. Now that everything's had a chance to cook together quite nicely, we're going to go ahead and add in the squash and zucchini into the mix. Give it a good stir and let it cook for a little while. And these things are going to continue to stew down together. So the ratatouille's been stewing for about 45 minutes now. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the teaspoon and a half of celery salt. I'm just going to give it a good stir and let it hang out for a little while. We're going to come back and check on it. All right, now that the salt's had time to take its way through and all the flavors have fully combined, the ratatouille is completely finished. You can finish it with a little bit of uh, fresh basil if you'd like. I'm gonna add that when I go to serve it. So that wraps us up on how to make ratatouille. Thank you very much for watching. Comment below and let me know how yours turns out. 